hello everyone welcome back to another video of automation testing insider so this part 25 of selenium framework development series from scratch and today we are going to talk about how to send the automatic email from jenkins build when we run the jenkins build then how we are going to send the automated email so in the previous part we have already seen how to you know set up the jenkins like download and installation part and later on we have set up the build as well the rnhrm project which we have uh, for that we have set up the build and we run the project successfully from jenkins so if you haven't watched the previous video then i would recommend first go to the previous video so that you can understand the initial setup like how we have done in jenkins and then come back to this video like how we are going to send the automatic email so let's get started uh, so there are two configuration uh, in jenkins uh, to set up the uh, automated email one is global level at global configuration and the another one is project build level configuration so this part i have already done guys global configuration and i have documented as well whatever global configuration is required so i have already documented everything and then i'll show you uh, and at the end of the video i'll share you the link as well so that you can download that document and for the second one project build level the build which we have created in the previous video right the initial build so for that we are going to set up at project level uh, like how we we are going to send the email so let's get it started to do it practically So this is my Jenkins server guys and here you can see orange HRM build. So this is the build which we have created in the previous video and uh, what we are going to do here I have created the documentation as well. So I'll provide you the link at the end of this video and uh, let me go over it uh, one by one right and we'll see the global configuration level as well. So what we'll do we'll go to the dashboard and here we have manage Jenkins. So first we need to go to the manage Jenkins and from here we have to go to this system global uh, configure global settings and paths so simply go to that and let's follow the documentation as well so that you can understand when you follow this document uh, when you download it and when you follow it right so log into jenkins and navigate to manage jenkins and system we need to just click on this and update system admin email so first of all we need to update the system admin email so this one system admin email address so uh, i have provided my email address over here from which it will show you, show us like uh, from where we uh, like start the email like from where we send the email that is one setting you need to do and another one is if you go below so navigate to extended email notification section so just scroll down at the end at global level and here we have extended email notification you will find it so basically no need to download any uh, plugins for this because we have already uh, uh, with latest jenkins we already have all these plugins like extended email notification email notification and all and here what we need to do since we are using the gmail uh, uh, gmail right so we have to provide this smtp server over here so at smtp server for gmail so that is nothing but the smtp.gmail.com so in your company's whatever server we are going to use like smtp server that you have to provide you will get it from the ict team right so and this you have to provide over here and then port we have to use like 587 so 587 is for tls tls port and if you are using ssl then we have to use 465 so here i am using a uh, tls port so that's why i have given 587 and later on what you need to do guys we have this advanced option over here so click on advanced and here we have some credentials so this is my gmail credentials and now and here you can see i have checked this tls uh, port tls right i'm not using ssl so we have checked this tls so what we are going to do here credentials you need to add it from here so gmail you have to provide and instead of providing the gmail password what we can do we can create the app password so how to create the app password from gmail so here also i have given how to generate app password for gmail so you need to go to the gmail account and manage your google account you need to click on that one 
and later on you have to go to the security and from security two step verification will be there correct so make sure you have this two way uh, two step verification active in your account gmail account so after that you need to click uh, you need to just scroll down at the end and you here you'll see app password so you have to generate the app password from here enter the app name and generate the app password so you just need to provide the app name uh, so you can see here i have created couple of them before and uh, as many as you want you can create over here so just provide the app name and click on create so you'll get some i think 16 digits password over here and then you you need to copy that password and just come back to the previous uh, this one credentials in the global setting right and here you need to add from this button you need to add the password after this what you need to do you have to click on this advanced this is not required so here you can see uh, default content type so here you have to give plain text so here you can see now come back to the Jenkins there is another advanced setting enter the following so plain text you have to give like this and then default recipient you, you need to provide your email id and uh, reply to as well so what are the uh, recipients are there who are the recipients so you need to just provide uh, all the recipients stakeholders using comma and reply to address as well and then default subject line will be there like this project name build build number and build status so just give the subject like this and default content email body so you will see the email content like this so this one also i have provided over here so you can see the proper like project name project build number build status and everything will be there you need to skip these two things please send a script and all here yeah after that so this is done here one thing guys uh, we need to just put the this path the uh, extent report path which we generate when we run the build right so here you need to provide in your uh, based on your the the path which you have in your project right so this is the path which we have i'll show you this when when we run the build so probably let me open it in the next tab so i'll show you how we have that or nhrm build and this is the extent report so this path you need to provide this is the build which we run uh, in the last time right so this is the report from the last build so just provide that link over here the complete link over here in the email body so that you will see the uh, extent report through link as well and later on what we need to do default trigger this one you have to uh, expand this and select always so irrespective of whether it's uh, whether it's fail or pass you need to uh, get the report right the email so simply select this always and this is optional like no need to set this one uh, because we have already set up the extended email right so extended email notification we have already set so i think this is pretty much done default trigger should be checked as always this one and uh, now it is done this is optional so no need to set up this one now we go for the project level setup so we'll do the project level setup from the dashboard so go to dashboard and select the orange hrm build and configure so let me recap guys what we have done earlier so we have given the description of the project in the previous video and here we have source code management we have selected git provided the github url and credentials not required in in case if your uh, github repository is public in case if it is private then you have to provide the credentials over here and the branch which you are referring uh, right to run so here we have main branch and uh, after that build triggers this uh, probably will discuss in the next video how we are going to run the build automatically when when we push the changes so that we'll talk about it later now coming back to come to this one build steps we have maven maven setup over here so just set up uh, we have done this setup in the previous part right 
and we have this published HTML report. So we have provided the HTML path and what is the HTML uh, file we have and name of the report. So these are the settings which we have already done in the previous video. Now we are going to uh, set up the email, right? Uh, so what we have two kind of email setup over here, email notification and editable email notification. So select this one and here what you need to do uh, default recipient I think we need to select if you go here so default uh, recipient list you need to just provide the email ID and I'll copy my email ID guys and uh, reply to also you can give that is fine and other than uh, all these are not required and here attachment we can provide the uh, the report from here right last time we run the build so the extent report path we can provide here and attach build log we can give attach build log so that it will uh, attach the all the logs generated when we run the script when we run the build and uh, just click on this advanced setting as well and here what we need to do always uh, triggers should be always and you can cancel these developer recipient list and all and what else i think we have to click over here at once and uh, you can select the attached build log from here as well do we need to provide attachment here i think that is not needed always should be selected right after that recipient list again we have to provide here this one we have to provide our email id dot com and uh, reply to reply to list that is fine and uh, after that I think that's it here we have added attach build log that is not needed I guess always is fine recipient list trigger at trigger we have already added always and here attach build log and this is our yeah i think now it should be fine guys so click on apply and click on save now let's run the build whether it is working fine or not so let me quickly recap what we have done at project level so these are the previous settings which we have done let me just editable email notification which we have added just now right so you can see here recipient list we have provided and reply to over here and all these things no need to provide and here you have to provide the attachment right uh, the extent report and attach build log you have to select the build log from here and advanced settings if you go and here we have to add the triggers as always and from here you need to just provide this recipient i think this is not required but let's see apply and click on save and let me run the build now click on build build now and here you will see the build is running the third build go to the console output just a minute guys we have we haven't started the because we are running it from let me cancel it because we are running it from our ex local uh, orange hrm environment right so we have to start the server mysql and apache let me make sure it is running now it is running that's fine now let me run the build again build uh, can, this is cancelled so let me run the build again so console output here you can see it started build has started you can see it is executing all the test cases and after a couple of minutes it will show us how to send the email and it will take like one minute 
so it is running all the test cases through Jenkins build now you can see build success and uh, email was triggered always right here you can see total test run 7 failure 0 error 0 skip 0 build is success and email was triggered for always sending email trigger always sending email to Hitendra Verma my email ID and finished success right now let's see whether we received the email or not you can see guys we this one got aborted right the bill 3 which we abort so you can see the abort email also we have received and this one is orange hrm build the project name the build number and it is successful correct so here you can see all the uh, project name build number 4 build status successful this is the build url you can directly go to the jenkins uh, build url uh, is given over here and last commit is also there branch name and uh, build log is attached so you can, when we open this build log you can see all the logs over here the jenkins how we have run how it was run so you can see all the logs over here correct and uh, just cancel here and you can see extent report as well it is attached to so click on this you can see the extent report has been uh, it is referring to like it is navigating to the extent report right so this is how you can uh, set up the automated email in your Jenkins server click on back to orange hrm build correct so this is all for today guys and in the next video i'll show you how to run the jenkins build automatically how to trigger the build automatically when when we make the uh, when we push the when we make any changes in the code and push the changes to the github right so that is an important uh, session as well so this is all for today guys thank you for watching and if you're new to this channel then please subscribe it thanks a lot bye bye and yeah i forgot to tell you uh this one i have already uploaded in our uh, let me show you in ati digital hub library automation testing and uh, yeah this one so i'll provide the link in the description box of this video so that you can download this document and this is free of cost thank you for watching have a nice day bye bye